Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a love reading and this is going to be a cheeky messages one. So if you'd like to check out the extended readings, then they are gonna be down below and they're gonna be on Etsy and I'm gonna let you know what they're gonna be including. So today we're gonna to be doing another love reading and I love these. This is gonna be all about your future partner and it's gonna be a love update. This is gonna be more to do with singles. I'm gonna be aiming more at singles, those of you who aren't in a relationship, because this is all about your love life and basically, what's going on with you and if you relate to this and you aren't single then please stay for the reading it may resonate with you um, but I mainly aim at singles because it is to do with a future partner so let's get started we do have the extended as well so in the extended we're going to be looking at your favorite positions what's going on in the bedroom what they love about you your possible children um, possible anything just like intimate and intense and just body 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 things things to do the body and also what you're going to experience so in today's reading we're going to be doing your love update we're going to be seeing all about your love life and we're going to be doing all about who they are what you're going to experience possible marriage things like that um, but yes we will be covering possible children in the next one unless it comes up in this reading so if you'd like to check out the extended and you relate to this reading then please do all the information is down below if you'd like to get a private reading with me then please do and all that information is down below as well. You can email me or Instagram message me. So we have four groups here. We have group number one with the clear quartz, group two with the morganite and the rose quartz, group three with the celestite and group number four with the moonstone. Please choose your group now. And as usual, all information is down below for the extended. Let's get started with group number one with the clear quartz. Let's see your love update. Let's go, let's see who is on its way. Assist. Let's see who is on their way to you, your next future partner. Let's go hello group number one so you guys chose the clear quartz i might actually bring it out a little bit more give it a bit more space okay so we've got the clear quartz i love raw rough clear quartz it is one of my favorite crystals just because it's just so beautiful you could probably like use this as like a cutting thing because it's so sharp it's beautiful it's just gorgeous it's like ice i love her so we're going to be looking into your card today we have clear quartz so it says the crystal for bringing the body into balance. This is a, just a really generally a very good crystal for you guys. And I think for a lot of you guys, you're going through just like a lot of turmoil in my heart. Oh, I haven't done a YouTube video for a while. Like my heart just suddenly opened. So I feel like really breathless. Um, if you guys don't know when you're channeling, like your heart chakra will really open. So that's definitely what you guys are going through. So I feel like you guys could be going through grief. You could be going through um, just a clearing out of relationships. And this is just really good to get you kind of clear on a situation. So if you're going through something um, to do with a relationship that makes you feel really uncomfortable and just bleh, then clear quartz is really good, especially just any relationship related stuff. Um, this is just a really, really good crystal to use. Okay, so let's see what we have. So we're gonna pull a couple of crystal grid oracle cards, and then we're gonna be looking into the tarot and we're gonna see what's coming for you in your relationship what's going to be the next relationship and everything we need to know about them basically okay let's see we will also see how you're going to meet as well so that's going to be cool so let's see what we got going on what is the main focus for group number one love this this is sensual this is like sensual energy so i love that that is absolutely perfect so you guys are really focusing on that sensual energy really coming back to your root chakra coming back to your sacral which is lovely so that's also all to do with being playful oh look at that another red card being playful being really gentle with yourself and just having some effing fun just having so much fun oh my god look at this so much red i love that do you know how many cards there are on this deck there's so many um and it's a beautiful deck i want to recommend it well every time i'm going to recommend it because i love it so much it's the crystal grid oracle by nicola mcintosh so nice so i love the fact that you guys have three um red cards this is really really nice i love the fact that you guys are getting really clear on your goals and you're getting really clear on just anything that is to do with like financial physical things so things to do with like home and money is like a main focus for you you could be going for a breakup as well which definitely impacts your finances especially if you've been together for a long time or you've shared finances okay and i just want to tell you they're saying to me 
like my guides they're saying basically you've got a lot of protection and I feel for a lot of you guys is you're having to go through quite a big financial change before you go on to your next phase of meeting this new partner because there's a lot to do with your beliefs around just basically receiving it's not just to do with money it's like literally receiving um, anything you feel basically worthy of receiving and there's a lot of like a mother wounding being carried through this reading so I feel for a lot of you guys um, there could be a lot of grief going on there could be a loss of a job there could be quitting jobs it could be moving on to a new job there's definitely something to do with like just continuously enduring something and it just feels really rough and intense and not in a good way so I feel for a lot of you guys you're going to get the most creativity out of out of the next few months I feel and your next partner is going to really open you up to pleasure and comfort and just making you feel extremely safe which is really good and you can't say that really about everyone that we meet because they're not always you know able to give that to us and I think for a lot of you guys you are going to be the ones where they're able to give it to you like straight away you're not going to have to ask for it they're going to be able to give you physically what you need um, financially but also literally physically if you know what i'm saying okay so it's going to be a lot of creative kind of juices running through this this reading and obviously the 18 plus version as well which i'm very excited about because i haven't done one of those in ages haven't done one in so long so i'm a bit rough around this uh, reading because i'm just literally i haven't done a youtube video for quite a while um so yeah so you've got a lot of selenite and a lot of clear quartz as well i really genuinely feel like a lot of you guys are wanting up yourself like you are literally going into the next phase of your life and i can pretty much see a new partner coming in who is a tool and they are really like they have just like they give you what you need like they give you the it's, okay how do i explain this it's kind of like you've they're saying they're showing me like a worn out pair of trainers that you've worn for like 10 years and you're really attached to them but you know they're just not working for you anymore they've got holes in they're rubbish and then you basically get this brand new pair of trainers and it's even better than what you want it's even better you know it might be barefoot i love my barefoot shoes um they basically you know they allow your feet to breathe they do everything you need basically so they support you and this is the type of energy you're going to get is support you have not had a lot of support in your life and you're definitely going to get that from this person and basically my love basically what you're working on right now is supporting yourself that is what you're preparing for in a romantic partner if you cannot support yourself in an in emotional way in a physical way and what i mean by that is like literally giving yourself support in any way that it is it could be crying it could be letting yourself cry it could be letting yourself be uh, vulnerable that is all about supporting yourself like literally giving yourself space to, to allow and um yeah i feel like one of the things that's telling me is to tell you a quote that i really like to say is you belong so if you get a pain in your body or you feel like you want to cry but you're struggling to let it out just say you belong you belong because what you're doing is you're talking to that part of you that's resisting and that's what i feel i think a lot of you guys a lot of us especially we're awakening so quickly and this relationship is so intense it's, it's very um ancient it's very ancient romantic relationship like this is a very old relationship from a very long time ago i would be surprised if you guys were together in a past life and i'm seeing like an aborigine uh maybe native american type background and i love native american background oh honestly if i was not part of a native american tribe in a past life i'll be very shocked because i feel so like connected to american soil <laughs> even though i'm english um yeah i feel so connected so that's when i'm getting like a lot of feathers like i'm seeing like a chief this very tall man um he's got feathers in his hair and he's got like these tattoos on his face like that's kind of the energy of this relationship it's very grounded it's very earthy and i wouldn't be surprised if the person you're going to meet is an earth sign and i'm picking up mainly virgo and capricorn but mm, a little bit sprinkling of taurus but i think a lot of you guys have had kind of bad bad uh, influences with Taurus like a lot of bad times with Tauruses and I don't think you need that anymore okay so I'm just gonna have a little bit of my tea I love tea I'm gonna show you the type of tea that I have I love it this is Ahmed tea it's one of my faves have a little sippy sip okay so <clears throat> let's get you some more cards so we're gonna pour some tarot now I have fucking love these it's so nice got 49 61 and 52 oh what so so great this is stuff I, I just love those cards because what they show me is it's like you're gonna get the physical stuff that you want so if you're worrying about am i gonna get a job that i want is this like is this am i gonna be physically supported my love yes you will and i'm sorry you you feel like that you feel like you 
you know, you're gonna struggle because you're not. It's just all fear that's pretty much come from ancestors and society and things like that. Okay, so I want to, I actually do wanna read you the success one if that's okay with you guys. If you wanna skip ahead, you can, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna read you this one because I really wanna read you it. They're telling me to just go for it. Okay, it's 61. There's definitely a massive mother wounding around, especially for those of you who are older, I would say probably um, 50, 50 years old onwards. Um, specifically for you guys, they're showing me like this intense masculine influence, especially around my women who are watching. Um, like you guys have been kind of warped and formed to be more masculine because of, you know, working and then having a family and all these things. Um, or just not being able to express your emotions. And same with my men, like you guys haven't been allowed to be in your feminine. So there's this sense of like really reversing that basically. And um, I mean, it has its purpose, but now it's like, I wanna be vulnerable. I wanna be able to be intimate with my partner without being scared, you know, that's not a normal thing. Okay, so success is, it says, what does success look like to you? When you gain success, you usually feel excited. Anything is possible if you believe it is. Stay true to yourself and others because success is not success if you hurt those around you in the process. Find inner strength and aim for what you want. Believe it will be yours. Have you really sat down and thought about what success actually looks like? When you know where you want to be, the universe will make the way for you. Once you know where you want to be, you can make a plan and take action on how to get there. Call in the spirit of Mikrakite to be with you and help you while you think it out. Okay. All right, let's get some tarot. I feel, mm, I think we'll just get the original tarot today, the Rider Waite, and then we'll pull some uh, love cards as well and see what wants to come out. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Ooh, definitely somebody coming in, Page of Cups. Love that. Obviously in the extended, we'll use the 18 plus um, love sensual cards as well. Okay, we have the five, six, seven, eight of swords. Sometimes I can't see the numbers when I'm channeling, so it's probably like, girl, you've been doing tarot for like four years, how do you not know? Sometimes I just literally cannot see. It's really, really strange. Okay. Right, this is literally so perfect. This is exactly what I was saying. So we've got the nine of swords, the, the sun, the king of pentacles, and there's one juicy one, I can feel it, there it is. I genuinely feel like if you guys are having a major change, which most likely you are, a lot of people are going through major change, whether it be work, um, it feels like more physical, feels quite masculine. So it could be career, it could be moving house, it could be, oh, I need to burp. Excuse me, that's clarification. I think a lot of you guys are really scared of not getting the job that's right for you or not, or not earning enough money. My love, you are gonna be supported, I promise you. Sometimes you gotta be creative in a way to get like a certain amount of money because I know everything is so effing expensive. Um, but I feel like there's gonna be another person coming in who's gonna physically support you, which is really, really good. So it might be that they're, they're actually telling me they actually don't know what they've got coming towards them because they're telling me like you're focused on wanting a career, right? But what if you meet a person, like what if you meet a partner before you find this job and they help you with money so you can pursue something you actually really wanna do rather than something you, you feel like you have to do because you don't have a lot of money coming in. Do you know what I mean? Like if you, you can meet someone who helps you with a passion project, something like that. But they are telling me, take job opportunities for now, just even though I know it's a bit painful, especially if they're jobs you don't wanna do, they're just telling me like you are gonna be content and having that extra money under your belt will make you feel a lot more grounded okay so what i see is you're going through a lot of turmoil there's a sense of like focusing on things you don't that you don't want you're focusing on maybe you feel like you can't attract things in and then i feel like something majorly shifts and you manifest this person what i see is i see something personal shifting in your life between these two cards so i see possibly a job opportunity it could be someone passes i'm sorry to say but someone passes in your family who you may expect this anyway and they give you money and they allow you to move like move country and your person's there it's like something like that it's within probably about no more than eight months, three to eight months. This is possibly gonna happen in this section. And this is your person. And like I said, this person's an earth sign. I really do feel like they're a Capricorn or a Virgo. There's somebody who is very, very like handy, like they're a handy, <clears throat> a handyman. But if they're a woman, they're gonna be somebody who is extremely attentive, nurturing, and they're very good at details. Like if this is a man, 
more like a plumber, DIY person, someone who is very fit. If they're a man, they could have a six pack. If they're a woman, they could also have a six pack, but I feel more they're just really, really fit. Um, and for the magician, this is really nice. This is, I just genuinely feel like my guides are really telling me like they are coming into alignment. Like you are coming into alignment. This is not gonna last forever. This uncomfortable, yucky feeling. I genuinely feel like, I mean, when I'm filming this, we're in August, like right at the end of August. I feel like this is gonna be probably by like January to October, you could attract this in. So I would give it, give it about six months and then I see something starting to shift for you. Okay, um, yeah, it's very personal. And like I say, every time I do a love reading, it is about you. It isn't about just about your partner. Because why the F would you wanna wait for somebody to come around when you're not even focusing on yourself? Like you need to focus on what you love and what you love to do, you know what I mean? I'm just gonna have some more tea. Okay, sorry if you can hear me drinking. All right, so I feel like I wanna do one more tarot, one more tarot card. What is it that I need to focus on to manifest this person in? <laughs> Oh my god, so much yellow, I love it. Okay, you guys are literally needing to focus on the positive of situations. Do you know what really helped me? Is I want you to focus on your Venus sign. Focusing on your Venus sign can really help you to get in this positive energy. So, the like, I'm, I'm Libra Venus. My, the negative part of it can be, like I say, like bitchy, like focusing on other people too much. But the positive side is light. It's very beautifying. It's very creative. So if I feel really sad, I'll literally just watch Barbie or I'll watch something that's cute and fun and very girly, like that is Libra. So if you wanna get into this as quickly as possible and start to feel more lighter, focus on stuff you can control, okay? You are not in control of everything. I'm sorry to say, but you're not. And you just wanna focus on things that you can do at this moment and then go from there, okay? If there's any fears, write them down. But I genuinely feel like for a lot of you guys, it's to do with receiving. And it's funny that we're doing an 18 plus reading because there'll be a lot to do with receiving in that reading as well. Because when you have sex, you receive, if you know what I'm saying. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, that's basically what you need to focus on is just averting your energy away from negativity because there's a lot of potent, really gross energy around at the moment. I'm not even gonna go there because, you know, we don't want to, we don't want to, we don't want to focus on that, but you know, you guys will know what I mean, especially if you follow me on Instagram. I don't sugarcoat stuff, especially when it's to do with the government and the higher powers, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, <clears throat> let's move on. So we're going to do about your um, relationship now. We're going to see how you're going to meet. I feel like there's a woman involved. Um, if you're a man, there's gonna be a man involved. If, if you're a woman, there's a woman involved. So I feel for a lot of you guys is if you are, yeah, I think you're gonna manifest a friend through work and then you're gonna meet them through this person. You're gonna be with this person when you meet your relationship partner, okay? So it could be you're out having drinks and this person comes up to you, buys you a drink. It could be you're at a lodge with your friend and then you go out somewhere and this person's there. It could be this person is your friend's friend. Anything like that, that's what I'm feeling. So let's get confirmation. Okay, grab this. All right, I love this. I really felt like wherever you are, it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be like a house or a lodge. I'm gonna lighten this up a little bit so you guys can see. Do we need to do a little bit more? That's better. Okay, so let me zoom you in. So we have the fourth house. Sorry guys, my camera's shaking. Okay, so fourth house, sixth house, 46 could be a number. And then we have Venus, haha, -ha, see I said Venus, Aquarius, love it. Okay, right, this is the main kind of thing that I'm seeing is a lot of you guys really struggle with connecting to others on a deep level where you are, because a lot of you guys don't even know you're doing this, but a lot of you guys are, are definitely struggle with intimacy, okay? Especially if you've been told to, you know, women don't do, women are meant to be seen, not heard, that type of thing. Like you've never been allowed to express your real true heart and how you really feel. And maybe you were just shamed for being like that, you know? So what I see for a lot of you guys is I see your person coming in when there's a massive shift in your in your community. That's why I feel like you could move jobs, 
new people there. It could be you are, oh, it could literally be anything. Cause it's very, it feels very like a wide spread message. Like it's not just like, it's gonna be at work. Like it could literally be so random, but it's definitely through a friend. I really feel that. Um, and I think for a lot of you guys, it's actually more your mindset. Like once you change how you react to receiving, I think you're gonna meet your person because it's to do with you being in your feminine. And same for my men, it's about you being comfortably in your feminine okay it's like balancing both the sides out because men are not meant to function from their feminine all the time like women are meant to function from their masculine all the time because it just you burn yourself out and the same with men they burn themselves out as well um so basically your job right now is to balance out yourself like looking after yourself doing anything that just makes you feel comfortable because i really feel like your person's gonna you're gonna meet them through a friend i just i keep seeing that very very strongly Okay, let's get a few more cards. Let's see what else we got. Okay, so let's see. Hmm, what do we want to look at? Okay. Let's see where let's see where you are at when you meet your other partner. Lovely. Seeker. Let's see where they are. The gardener. You're both very similar. You both want to have a relationship that's very, very awakened, very mature. Um, you could have a business together, okay? And I genuinely feel like your relationship is going to be about building. So you could move quite a few times. You could have children. I do see that. And I, see, I do see marriage as well. Um, I do see marriage for both of you. I feel like your marriage is going to be quite close back to your background. So say if you're both Indian, you're going to have a beautiful, like colourful Indian wedding. If you are both Scottish, you're going to have loads of kilts. Like It's like very, very, very typical to your background. Um, you like that. It kind of gives you that sense of like uh, connection to your ancestors okay love it so this is the relationship the relationship is going to be about both of you being independent but together a lot of you guys have been taught from a young child is not to rely on other people and you're going to transmute that into okay i can i can ask for help but also i'd like to do it by myself so maybe you guys sleep in different beds or you both have your own business but you have separate businesses but together when you come together oh my god it's amazing because you both know yourself so well um you're not you're not swayed by this person's opinion or anything like that um so the seeker number 44 We've got the name Robert as well. Mrs. Robert Peary Rose. That's what this rose is called. Your person could be called Robert. I don't know. <laughs> or Rob or something like that. Um, okay, so let's have a look at your person a little bit more. Let's see what the relationship's going to be like. Any other information? Okay, it's going to be a lot of talking, a lot of communication. You both love random trips, little random road trips. Um, you're both going to like little ceremonies. So maybe if you like working with the moon, you're both going to be working with the moon together. You could exercise together, work out together. You could go for runs. You could do squash. They're telling me squash, you know, where you whack a ball against a wall. <clears throat> you could like swimming you could meet each other at a place of fitness as well because we did have the sixth house and you are both possibly going to be in the business of <clears throat> one of you is definitely going to be in the business of health and you could both be holistic as well you could be in um, the holistic side too and you both just love 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 traveling i really feel like both of you are going to work from home um if that suits you both but i generally feel that's what's going to happen um, I see you both having children as well, and we'll go more into that in the uh, extended. But I really feel like your marriage is going to be beautiful. Your wedding's going to be very big. You're going to have quite a lot of people there. And I feel like you're going to have a lot of people of the same background. So I'm seeing, like, it sounds really bad to say. I'm going to say it anyway. I'm seeing a people of all the same skin colour. So maybe you don't have a very mixed family. I'm seeing, like, a family of just one one or two backgrounds like i don't see a lot of mixture maybe you want to keep it to only certain people you're related to maybe you don't want to have loads of friends but i see a big wedding so maybe you've got a big family that's what i'm seeing i'm seeing people from all the same background all the same country um and both of you are very similar you both have the similar dna so you both look very similar like both of you I just yeah very very similar so at the moment you are specifically are working on your um home you're working on uh, becoming safe and figuring out what safety means to you because you've got number 44 so when you meet your person you most likely would have just about moved house or you would have changed jobs or both okay so 
that's pretty much it for that. Um, so I feel like your person, I feel like I just want to pull some um, intimacy oracle cards. So a lot of people ask me what this deck is. Um, this is the intimacy oracle and it's from Etsy and it comes with like loads of different cards. I've just mixed them all together now, but um, let me grab this other deck. <clears throat> they come in lots of different colors and they all mean different things. So I mix them all together, there's quite a lot here now. <clears throat> okay, tell me about this relationship. Tell me about this person, lovely. Pace yourself, take your time, okay? Take your time with this person. Take your time, I hope you can see the cards. Sorry guys if it's a bit bright. Let's see if I can bring that down a little bit. Oops, you break it down. Pace yourself. We have penetration and infiltration. I'm actually gonna bring that up because I think that's gonna be a bit too, too dark. <clears throat> okay, so one thing you're gonna be confused about is how interested they are. Like they're gonna take it slowly, but they're very interested in you. They're really, really flirtatious, really, really cute, very sweet. Um, they have a big heart and they're somebody who loves giving gifts. They are definitely from a family who loves giving gifts. Like it's very, it's very normal to them to give gifts. Um, they also come from a family that doesn't do a lot of hugging. So you might end up like kind of helping this person to like hugs. Okay, so it's gonna be something to do with cars. Um, it could be both like cars, but what I see mainly is a car is just really significant. Maybe they have a car that you've possibly like always wanted, or they like driving you around and that's something that you've never really had before. Maybe they buy you a car um something like that but whatever it is like you both live near the beach <laughs> like there's a lot of beach stuff i actually get a lot of like caribbean from this group there's a lot of like jamaican caribbean as india i'm getting indian a lot from this uh group and i'm also seeing amsterdam very random places but there's definitely a lot of beach stuff going on so the car is really significant you both are gonna have a very close encounter so when you're when you meet for the first time you're going to be quite close you're not going to be on the phone, you're not going to be long distance, you're literally going to be standing in front of each other. So you can get a good look at this person and what I see this person having brown or black hair, so light brown or black, they have green eyes, you're really looking at their eyes, greeny blue possibly. Um, yeah, that's the main thing that I get from this person and they are definitely more secretive which is why I'm not getting too much information about them but the main thing I see is they're definitely an earth sign. Um, they love books, they love things that are very simple, they don't like to complicate stuff and they've always had a job, they're very good at getting work and they are quite extroverted. Um, there's somebody who was going to push you and I see, how long is it going to meet? How long, gonna, how long is it going to be until you meet this person? We've got 12 and 12. So it's gonna be quite a while for you guys. I actually was feeling about two years. So we have, yeah, about two years, roughly about two years, could be earlier than that. Just um, use your intuition and your noggin. Some of you guys, I am saying, I mean, I'm hearing if you'd like to check out online dating, please do try it out. Um, I don't always suggest it, so that's always a good one when they ask, when they say that. Uh, and we have the throat chakra. So you could be working on using your throat chakra and really expressing yourself, being very true to yourself, like having boundaries, telling people how you really feel. There's a sense about like being honest, really, like really, really, really honest. Um, yeah, honest as fuck, basically. So that is your reading. And then the last thing I'm hearing is don't let people shake you. Like be yourself, be who you really are. People will love you for that. So that's your reading. And if you'd like to, I will see you in the 18 plus extension in the description box. Have a great day and I'll speak to you very, very soon. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Thank you so much for being here on my channel. Um, okay, so let's have a look at your love update for my lovely singles. Let's see what's going on. If you're not single, please feel free to stick around as well. There may be a message in here for you. Okay, so I just burped. <laughs> As confirmation that it's going to be a good reading. Okay, so we have the rose quartz, and I'm actually, uh, I'll put it over here. So this crystal here is Morganite. This is also known as pink beryl, and it's for emotional fulfillment. So for a lot of you guys, this relationship is going to be very much in the heart. It's going to be to do with your moon sign as well. So it's going to be very emotionally fulfilling. A lot of your relationships have been very uh, physically driven. So like sexual, um, they've been very on the surface. You've not been able to really grow in a way that's for you. More like you've possibly done a lot of people pleasing. You've done a lot of things that were to do with you pushing, forcing, adjusting 
it wasn't authentic. I'm seeing a sponge and it's squeezing out everything and then you're literally just left dry, like SpongeBob in the SpongeBob movie, where he's like dried out. That's how you feel like, you, and that's kind of why you're coming into this next connection with just a lot of fears, a lot of fears because you haven't really been validated, especially as a child as well. And you're somebody who loves cuddles, loves hugs, being very physical, like you're, I feel like your 18 plus reading is gonna be very, very, very touchy-feely. And that sounds really obvious, but it is. Like yours is gonna be more emotionally touchy-feely. Like I feel like for you guys, you're probably gonna be the most touchy of all groups because you can touch, but you don't have to be sexual. You can literally just be, you can touch, you can have hugs, but you don't have to like go there. But for a lot of you guys, you like both. You love romantic stuff, you love touching, you love any any touching, like you love head massages, maybe a bit of touching on the back, things like that. This, there's gonna be a lot of messages about that. So if you'd like to check out the 18 plus reading, you resonate with this reading, please feel free, it's down below in the description. Okay, so I love the fact this is emotional fulfillment. That's a massive confirmation. This reading is, this relationship is literally what you need. This is the love attractor. The vibration of this crystal is extremely high as well. So if you want to get your hands on Morganite, I highly recommend. Whoop. Rose Quartz is also really good, but Morganite's got a very kind of like a pophalite vibe, very light. Okay, so Morganite facilitates in recognizing unfulfilled emotional needs and unexpressed feelings. It dissolves unconscious or conscious resistance to healing and change. This stone is a superb antidote to stress and tension. I love how it says the sexual organs as well, like what it rules, um, the nervous system, the cellular structure, the heart, and the sexual organs. I love that because what that's shown me <clears throat> is a lot of you guys have um, possibly had a bit of trauma uh, physically. Um, but also to do with like trauma around just not getting enough, not getting enough love, not getting enough attention. And you're going, you've basically been working on that the whole time you've been on this planet and probably not even realized. And what I see is I'm seeing like, you know, Sagittarius, the, um, the, oh, have I got it here? Let me see if I can show you. I think I may have had it in group in the last group. Let me see if I can grab it. Um, it's like, it looks like somebody's shooting an arrow. Like this is what I'm seeing. This is the energy that you're going towards. I'm seeing you being shot somewhere, like like literally you're going straight towards somewhere. So you could be moving. I think Sagittarius, what they're showing me is somebody shooting an arrow. And what I'm getting so many messages, like I'm seeing travel, I'm seeing you being shot forward. I'm seeing you being pulled back, 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 back by all these like narcissists and horrible people and then shooting you forward. Okay, and for anyone who says that I talk about, I don't talk, I talk about narcissists too much, please leave my channel because I am always gonna talk, be talking about them because I want to raise awareness and a lot of people go through narcissistic abuse without even realizing. I've had a comment that really bugs me and they said that I talk about narcissists too much. Girl, if you don't like my content, please leave. I don't need your, your attention on my channel, bye-bye. Okay, so <laughs> let's carry on. Anyway, okay, so um, like pro proper leave and energy like okay bitch <laughs> bye all right so we have emotional fulfillment i love this this is really really nice so what this is showing me i'm seeing like a grandmother energy from this group as well so if there's any grandmothers that have passed on uh, recently or are in spirit they are with you um and you know i've had a passing recently and i feel like that's a message for me too so Oh, it's really in my heart now, girl. Okay, so what I see is I see a partner coming in for you who's just so gorgeous. Like they're so, so loving, so gentle, and they're gonna be so beautiful with your heart. And do you know what? They're gonna show up every single person you've been around. They're gonna show you how much you have not had, how much you have not received. Um, so it's gonna be really, really beautiful. So we're gonna have a look at the tarot. I'm gonna pull some tarot cards. We're gonna see just a love update. Look at that, lovers. Hallelujah. I love the lovers, one of my favorite cards. Um, okay, so we're just literally just gonna see um, what you've got to look forward to, basically a love update of your love life. So what's coming towards group number two in their love life? Love it. So you've been working very, very hard. You have been doing all the physical work. You've probably been doing a lot of boring, crappy government stuff, probably like, I don't know, taxes and like looking for like contracts for housing or jobs or doing job interviews, like really boring stuff. Um, it's stressful, but it's gonna, you're, you're gonna get the most out of it. I'm pretty sure Capricorn is in Uranus at this moment. I'm not entirely sure, I can't remember, but I know Capricorn's in a really uncomfortable phase when I'm filming this video. So there's a lot of like really effing slow movement. 
and I just about to scarf collection. <clears throat> so you're getting your judgment. Everything you've been working on is coming up all good. Um, this is literally the time when things start changing. So you're basically building up to the next phase of your life. It's going to be really, really good. And I'm hearing, I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait, yay. Yes, exactly, there you go. So you're being shot forward, lots of sexual energy, lots of physical being like, oh, push. So what I see is within the next probably two months, you're going to meet your person. And I didn't mean to say that. So that's obviously what you're meant to be hearing. I wouldn't be surprised if you weren't, like, if you, okay, if, you, if you're not going to meet them in two months, I'm just going to say they're around you very, 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 very closely. Like, if you're going through major, major shifting and you're like, Victoria, I can't cope, girl, same, because that's exactly what you're going through. Like, you are getting ready to share your information and your general energy, sorry, generous energy to people who really want to receive it and you're going to be given back that energy. It's going to be very, con very unconditional love. You're going to be very grounded. I see you moving house and I see your person being on the other side of that. So I'm hearing all you have to do is move. All you have to do is move. So if you're not actually moving house, they're telling you to literally get up and move, move your body, possibly change jobs if you want to. Literally anything you've been putting off to do that has to be done. Like you've been avoiding quitting your job. You've been avoiding, you know, releasing an old connection that's just bleh like just do it because what i'm seeing is you're literally on the last tiny remnants of the last karmic cycle that's why it's so uncomfortable because <clears throat> as humans we have to go through change we can't just go from one thing to another like we have to go through the uncomfortable stuff like if there's grief we have to feel it you know otherwise it's just going to be harboring around so you may be feeling really kind of insecure when you first meet your person you're probably going to be in a phase of like i don't want to go here i don't want to do this it might be you want to you don't want to move but you have to you don't want to get another job but you have to everything is in divine time my love i know it's stressful but you are literally on the verge of changing your life so drastically. Um, <clears throat> and I do feel travel abroad or just like in general. Okay, so your person is behind this section here. I can feel it. They're not like fully out here, but they're here between the ace and the uh, pentacles. So what I see is um, they literally, what they're telling me, like your person is literally saying, I want you to move. I want you to. So if you've been putting off moving, I'm sorry, but you're just gonna be pushed to do it. Like it's gonna get so uncomfortable in your physical environment, you're gonna be literally like forced. So when you do this, that is gonna be when you meet your person. I am gonna see a little bit more detail on how you're gonna meet. So give me some random dice here. Okay, lovely. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. 10th house. Uranus. I love it. I think that's Uranus. Let me just, I haven't used my dice in a while. Let me just clarify what um, planet that is. Planet symbols. So I think I'm pretty sure it's Uranus. Let's see. Okay, it's taking a while to load. Uh, yes, this is Uranus. Okay. I was debating that very heavily. Um, but Uranus is to do with Mars. It's to do with change, like major random change. We've got Virgo. So you're gonna be doing something very practical. You're, you could be moving in Virgo season, which is around September, okay? You could be meeting this person in Virgo season. You could also be going for a massive change physically, like your body, your look, your life. Your first house is so effing important. Like you could be a Virgo going through um, you could have Virgo placements, like Virgo sun, rising or moon, and you're going through a major change and a major upgrade. Um, I just feel like Virgos have been having like a bad hand the last like 10, 15 years. So this is good. <laughs> um, your person is also probably in health. Um, you could meet them through work and you could meet them through any change you want to do. So say if you want to try, even trying a group, even if you don't like the group that you go to, say you want to do a fitness group, or you want to do a yoga group you might not even want to go but when you go there like you might just it might just be literally the, the opportunity you need to meet this person you might not even return back to the group but you just went there literally and you meet this person then you're like wow you're really attractive but you don't even enjoy the group like literally that's how it's going to work so there might be a few things you don't want to do but it is going to be so worth it it's because this change is so effing gigantic um it's that's why it's so that's why it's so hard because you're like why is this so uncomfortable and it's like girl because you're having to change because you can't stay the way 
why you are because your creative energy where you are in your life in, in this world where you're living it's just crushing your creative juices it's not good for you anymore and because we have the ace of wands it shows me that your person's going to find you very physically attractive oh my god they're going to be like wow i love your hair i love your body i love your mind i love what you're talking about like they just they're naturally drawn to your energy so you guys are going to have an energy that's very magnetic um, and your person's just gonna absolutely love it. Like your 18 plus reading is gonna be so fun because I can feel like you guys haven't been physical for such a long time. And I feel like when you are with this person, there's not gonna be anything off of the table. Like you literally can do anything that you like with this person because they want to do it with you. They're not gonna push you or force you or change you. Like it's gonna be so nice. Oh, okay. So, oh my God, I literally didn't realize, but Uranus is the sun's symbol plus the spear of Mars. So you've got two symbols, the sun and you've got Mars connected. So Uranus is like pushing you out the gate, like go, 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 go. It's kind of like when you're starting school for the first time and you feel really uncomfortable. That's kind of your situation. All right, so let's get some more cards. And I wanna get a couple of these because I really like these cards. This is the, uh, what is this? Crystal Grid Oracle. Let's see what's going on in Group 2's Love Life. You guys have got some major stuff, especially if you've been single for a really long time. I can just see your person You're literally right there. Like, you're so close, so fucking close. Okay, the seeing eye, perfect. You, your intuition is gonna be firing like this. When you move as well, if you actually do move house, your intuition is gonna be like, boom, 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 boom. I wanna go here, I wanna go here, I wanna go here. You know, it's gonna be literally firing off amazingly. Release, ooh, I love it, green and beautiful. And then we have the key. Oh my God, if you literally move house, that is so great. <laughs> like you could have a new, a new key to your house. <laughs> That's so cool. And also, you are the key to your new life. Like, you have to make some moves. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Trust me. Like, this is this is all good stuff. Insight. Love it. So, if you are going to move somewhere, I'd like you to just try it out and see if you like it. Because I see that, literally, you've got a couple of stepping stones to push you towards your person. So, you might think, well, why is moving going to help me meet my man? But what if it does? What if you need to go to that certain place to do that certain thing? It's like literally one thing at a time. It's kind of like when they do like time, um, oh, what's it, when they go back in time in films and it's like, well, don't step on a butterfly because, you know, it'll change the course of whatever. Like that's literally the kind of energy I'm seeing. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if animals are around you a lot when you make this move um, because a lot of you guys animals are very drawn to your energy you're very gentle and sensitive so you could have like a literal animal follow you home and something like that or you could be living near a farm you could be living near a sanctuary or a zoo whatever it is it's just amazing so your person extremely compassionate this person has english roots they don't have to be english as such but they have like quite strong english energy okay so they could be i think i'd say they're quite pale i'd say your person's quite pale um i'm seeing brown hair uh doesn't matter the gender for some of you guys i'm actually seeing the woman having quite black quite dark black hair but for a male i don't see any other color than brown um bluey green eyes taurus aries capricorn Pisces, Libra, um, they could be a fixed sign. What I'm seeing is whatever sign you are, so say if you're a fixed sign, they're gonna be a fixed sign. If you're a cardinal sign, they're gonna be a cardinal sign. So as example, uh, cardinal signs are Aries, so you could be both be Aries, uh, Libra, things like that, okay? So that's kind of the energy I'm getting. So I'm, I'm basically seeing like your guides are pushing you to make some big changes. Um, which is why you're not meant to stay in the same place and I feel like you are releasing a lot of old relationships a lot of old jobs a lot of old ways of being I know it's stressful trust me I've literally had the rug and then some pulled up from under my feet like it's it's insane so yeah I'm just seeing you have to just go for it I'm sorry it's stressful and I'm sorry it's been hard but my guys being like girl you are you are definitely looked after and I know it doesn't feel like it but you are I'm seeing like this is oh this is such a good analogy I'm seeing like a baby tree like it's grown a little bit and I'm seeing like this like tree no charity like digging up this tree and seeing like oh this tree is like not gonna have a good life like they're showing 
okay this is such a weird analogy i'm going to tell you anyway so i'm seeing a tree charity like you know a charity that plants trees you know for whatever and they're looking at this baby tree and they've seen it grow up the last like two or three years and they look at the soil around it and they see well if it gets any bigger that soil is going to hurt its growth it's going to stop it from growing so what it does is it looks into the future and sees well it needs to be over here so we've got to take it out of its original place and put it into a new place but that transition period from it being out of the ground to being into a new place is very uncomfortable because trees are meant to be in the ground so when they're out of the ground they're essentially slowly dying so that's basically what it feels you're basically out of the ground feeling like everything is slowly dying but what's happening is in the future just a little bit mo like a moment after you're going to be planted in a new place and you're just going to have to get used to it you're going to get used to it it's going to be great it's just literally feeling feeling one thing at a time okay all right so i'm sorry if you guys can hear like a farting noise or anything i'm on a chair it's like leather and i'm moving around so i'm sorry if you can hear like a weird sound um i'm also going to recommend you something like peach selenite any crystals do with like peachy reddy pinky anything like that that'd be so good for you okay so i want to see anything else so how are they going to meet let's have a look see if there's anything else any other ways of how they're going to meet tell me about this person oh my god a major change love it love it love it love it that's so good yeah you're literally going to be flaunting your singleness like you, you, it's going to be in your energy you're going to be ready for newness your heart's going to be open your energy's going to be open you're going to be pretty happy you're going to be you're going to be scared but you're going to be happy about it um which is interesting yeah there you go perfect so how you meet is through being open to things. So you're gonna enjoy it. It's gonna be something you're enjoying, but you are gonna be scared about doing it. It's kind of like when you try a new job, it's like it's fun, but it's also very scary. Like that's the kind of energy. Um, your person, you wanna easily see them. I see them approaching you, or at least wherever they are, you're in their environment. So say if they're at a yoga group, and you go to this group, they're gonna be there already. Does that make sense? But they can come up to you, and they're gonna be looking at you a lot. All right, let's see anything else about the environment. Okay, so they're going to be very extroverted. They like to make the moves. They like to do the work. Um, their back and their booty is going to be very, very nice. And obviously we'll look into that a little bit more in the extended. Um, but basically they're very fit. They like cycling. I love this. You'll get used to it. So essentially anything you're going through, you will get used to it. It's going to be super easy to meet them. And we have a living room. Wherever you are, it's going to be a communal area. So it could be, like I say, a yoga studio where it's all cosy. It could be a coffee shop. Somewhere that's cosy, it's got, it's got settees or blankets, things like that. Could have a place with incense as well. Okay, and <laughs> look at this. <gasps> Literally, like a yoga, a yoga place or a gym. Something like that. Anything else? Moon. Yeah, you're going to be... It's an emotional supportive place okay you're going to be very comfortable you're not going to be anxious you're not going to you know you could just literally be chilling with your friends drinking coffee literally it's like a place of comfort that's basically what i'm getting at okay so let's have a little look a little bit more about your person let's see a little bit more about them because we kind of haven't really been talking about that too much all right so we have capricorn we have the fourth house and we have the north node so the North Node in Capricorn means that the South Node would be in Cancer. Perfect. So you will be most likely moving house. You could also be moving jobs and therefore you will be moving house because of your job. Okay. And your person is literally at your new job or at the new place. That's literally as quick as it is. Um, you're meant to be changing. Thing is, when it this is literally what they're telling me this is like a a hack a spiritual hack they're saying i know you can't see the future but everything you're going towards is literally what you're meant to be going towards like you can't see it physically because you haven't experienced it yet but sometimes we can't see how things are going to turn out until we just go through it it's kind of like cooking something or making something like a dress you only see the parts you only see the process you don't actually see the the end result and they're telling me like enjoy the confusion <laughs> try and enjoy the confusion try and enjoy it because what i see is you are coming away from just very toxic environments and you know this person is extremely supportive definitely got capricorn energy love it so you have hygiene this person is all about being fit they have lovely clear skin 
they have a lovely clear soul they are very unconditional and we have that guy love it oh my god it's so perfect i really do feel like it's got person's got earth in the chart um both of you have just this need to help people um, this person is also going through a big shift in their Lilith, which means that they're really working on their personal power and their sense of being open towards intimacy. They may have had something something traumatic happening to do with intimacy and they're really working on that right now. Um, they maybe have gone through some abuse, possibly some narcissistic abuse as well, um, and they're really working on that too. They do want a relationship. They've wanted one for pretty much about 12 years. Um, even when they were with people, they didn't feel really fully connected. They always change as well. And there's somebody who's going to pick you up on your crap. Like if you are being nasty, if you're in your trauma, they're going to be supportive, but they're not just going to let you put it onto them. Okay. You can't get, really get away with anything. This person's definitely, def they definitely help other people transform and they don't do things lightly. So this is you in the relationship. We have the storyteller and the caregiver. You are somebody who could be born on the 31st as well. And you're somebody who's gone through a lot of transformation. You are somebody who is very gentle and they love that. They love how much you transform. They love how different you are. They love how aware you are. You're very aware of things. And they love how gentle and just forgiving you are. You're very unconditional. Okay, so the thing about they're showing me the eyes. They're showing me like through the eyes of your person and I'm seeing this person looking at you and you're kind of hidden in the shadows but they like that they like kind of seeing they don't like people who just show off themselves to get attention like they like the sort of person that's in the background that cares for themselves that keeps to themselves they like that because they know that you're not going to be somebody who is just going to be doing stuff out of attention or is going to be angry and aggressive like they want someone who's gentle and kind and who stands their ground basically in a very mature way and that's the person that you are and that's what they love and this the sort of person that they are they always love to help they love helping they're somebody who um, is for the good of the world they don't like society they most likely will go off grid with you if that's something you'd like to do and they also could be having their own van or they could have their own camping company so they could have an airbnb they could be part of a, 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 a trekking group they go trekking and camping something like that <laughs> communicate this person is really good at communicating with you um they when they're talking to you they're really listening and what i love about this relationship is you learn so much from this person this person's like a, a bucket of knowledge basically lovely so this person's really balanced um they also have their own house and they're going to help you to trust as well they have their own house and they have their own car as well this person loves traveling they don't think twice about traveling like if they ever have the opportunity to do it they will and both of you are really skillful you're both um, incredibly intelligent and keep doing things that are creative um they're showing me like they love your hands they love how you are very skilled and creative and they love that about you never stop that okay so that is your reading i really hope you enjoyed it um in terms of marriage though sorry i didn't um, actually say that in terms of marriage i really feel like you're going to get married pretty quickly within about two years and in terms of relationship i just see it being very sensual so i feel like we're going to cover that most in the 18 plus and um, that's pretty much it have a great day uh the extended extended is down below and i'll speak to you soon Bye. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. So let's see the love update. Let's see what's going on in your love life. And we're going to be seeing the next person you're going to be with and what it's going to be like. And then all the extra information is going to be down below in the extended for you and your sensual viewing pleasure. <laughs> okay, so we have selenite. Nope celestite celestite is beautiful this is all to do with the throat chakra really gentle angelic color as well like really lovely pale blue so this is celestite and this is celestite as well okay so this card talks about re re i've always regenerating reintegrating the soul connecting to your guardian angel this crystal stimulates clairvoyance and promotes dream recall and out of body journey celestite supports your spiritual development at the highest level it teaches trust in the infant wisdom of the universe facilitates conflict resolution and instills balance of times of stress so i feel for this group you guys are kind of like the single mother 
of the groups even if you're not a single mother I feel like your energy is kind of like you're very responsible you're somebody who looks after everyone else um, you're somebody who yeah you're just very responsible and you do a lot for other people and you don't always get what you give out so what I see is even if you if you do have kids I feel like this is something you want to teach your children as well is like to give back to others when they give to you so say like if someone gives you something you know to say thank you and to look after others and to always invite them into your home you know obviously not random people but like being very um homely and a good host that's kind of the energy I feel like you have so what I see I see within the next three to ten months I see a big change in your love life I see you're going to attract some really lovely people in your life some friends as well and I think a lot of you guys you'll really learn to trust the universe right now and whatever changes you're going through basically you can't force this change like whatever change you're going through it's literally meant to be um, because you're being forced kind of out of your environment anyway so you're basically just having to go for a massive massive shift okay so let's see what's going on so I see pigs as a spiritual omen I'm not sure what they represent but what I'm seeing is they they make use of everything so they make use of all the scraps of food and they aren't afraid to get down and dirty that's kind of your energy I feel at the moment like you're having to get rid of stuff and clear stuff out and um like really get down and dirty with things like your life isn't very simple and plain at the moment it feels like a mess but it's okay to be a mess sometimes it's okay to just be a little bit confused so this is the future of your love life at the moment. Okay, so literally being so honest with people if you're not happy with this with the situation, how they're treating you, um, nothing is gonna go untouched. So if someone is making fun of you or making you feel really bad, um, karma is just gonna bite their butt. <laughs> like it's literally just gonna bite them pretty quickly. Um, so if you've got any, anybody who really messed you around, who manipulated you, who is just very nasty, karma will literally come and bat them in the ass. Um, and after that I feel like you are leaving a lot of old connections behind and I feel with by like next year whatever year you're watching this next year I see your relationships changing I say probably no more than a year you could be possibly meeting somebody because what I see is this is just really messy like in the next like five to ten months just a lot of like kind of things being glued back together okay things um regenerating themselves i see a lot of you guys having to move out because your environment is just hot i'm hearing hostile i don't really know what hostile means but what they're telling me is it's kind of like it just feels ugh. like it feels like you're kind of being electrocuted like it feels like you just can't function like that all the time so maybe you're moving out of the city going somewhere that's more um naturey but can you see how these cards have shifted from like wands and coins and death the death card to cups and wheel of fortune and more cups so it's like you are needing to go for a big shift of realization like there's a few people in your life that you're realizing wow these people aren't good for me um you're being like kind of <laughs> that sounds really bad but i'm hearing i'm being shot in the face <laughs> like there's a lot of things being shot at you and it's really 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 overwhelming um possibly people are turning on you and you didn't realize basically people's real nature is coming out and you're being forced out of your environment to be somewhere where you are fully nourished and i'd say if you're wanting to move i'd say move somewhere near water or nature okay more of a place where you can spread yourself out because your energy is very precious and they're saying we want you to express yourself we want you to become more open and enchanting and creative and if you're in this polluted messed up city that is just polluting your lungs and making you feel ill it's not gonna you're not gonna be becoming your highest potential okay so i feel the next person you're gonna meet is through a group um through friends i don't see like new people how you're gonna meet them it's gonna be more like people you probably already know you want to meet them when you're around these friends so it could be at a festival it could be at a friend's party it could be a wedding it could be a funeral <laughs> I know, but there's something about a gathering of people. And um, yeah, these people you're going to meet are, you, you would have already be friends with these people and then you would meet your partner while you're around these friends. So your friends are going to kind of push you to ask this person out or they're going to point them out in the crowd and then you're going to go up to them. That's kind of the energy that I see. 
Okie dokie. So, I feel, yeah, I think it's going to be no more than a year. I think you could meet this person. Let's see um, how you can meet them. See any other information about that. I feel like we've already covered it, but we're going to be looking into it anyway. Eighth house, through transformation, you would have gone through a lot of transformation. You're basically working on becoming much more open um, with your energy. So, you probably would have been in hermit mode for quite a long time going through a lot of just negativity. Well, what feels like negativity? And what I see is, there's a big shift in your energy of, you are, you're feeling much more safer to let yourself go more. Like you want people to notice you rather than hiding in the crowds. Um, you're more open to showing people the real you rather than scaring, feeling like you're scaring people away by being yourself. That's kind of how you meet your person. So it could be you pursue a passion, um, it could be you're out with your friends, maybe you don't even like pubs and you suddenly want to go to a pub all of a sudden. There's something about really basically opening your energy and allowing yourself to be seen more. And I also see a major, major change in career and money. So if you're wanting to look for a new job, I do see massive change in career. If you already have a job, I see you something shifting in your career especially if you work for yourself and you're kind of in charge of opportunities then i do see more opportunities coming your way literally you just got to get more of your content out there especially if you work online all right be your person i see them um having all different types of hair color for this group i see more darker hair colors so i see maybe red not ginger but like red hair i think this person could dye their hair um i see this person having quite dark brown eyes um black or brown hair this person is also um yeah i'm seeing lots of different types of people for this group i'm also hearing bob the builder so they might have kids and they might watch bob the builder with them or something like or nieces and nephews something like that okay so let's see what else we have then so let's um, what do i want to look at i feel like i want to see more about who they are as a person actually um Let's see the environment of how you're meeting because I feel like it's not really solidified. So let's have a look and see. This is the intimacy oracle. Yes, definitely. Definitely around opening yourself up more because we have the solar plexus, which is about the stomach and it's about um, showing the real you, like getting more confident in yourself. We have movie theatre. So it could be you're on stage. And I did say it's about you being seen more. Treehouse. I'm not sure what that's about, but for you guys who are going to know what that's about when you when you see it we've got to take a second look we have the chest this person might be shirtless or you might be a masseuse like somebody's like touching somebody else's shoulders this person might um they might like say if they're on stage they might like their outfit might just be them in shorts and not having anything on their top half so that could be like their look you could be a ballerina you could be a dancer there's something about like being on the stage and just showing that sassy side of you i feel like the main thing that's kind of stopped you from being um in a new relationship for a while is just your fear of losing your individuality i feel like from a young age you've kind of been taught to like hustle and you know be an individual make sure you don't lose yourself in anyone like there's a sense of it's almost so extreme that it stops you from getting close to people so i feel like you're doing anything to do with your inner child and just doing anything especially that's free would suit you so well to kind of help you connect more to yourself and then to your person so yeah, I feel like your person's quite mysterious. Like they don't feel like they're really fully in the reading. So I feel like I'm kind of pulling teeth right now, but um, there's definitely a new type of person coming through. But they're very hidden. Your person is not meant to be coming through too, too closely. Okay, so you can guarantee this person is a very good communicator. They're somebody who will definitely communicate and they they're kind of the sort of person to give you a lot of compliments all right i feel like this person is more of a mutable or cardinal sign so they could be a libra cancer aries sagittarius okay those are the signs i'm getting Let's see what else okay so this person also is very creative they love 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 change they're the sort of person who actually just really loves change. Um, they could have quite a lot of money and they have quite a big house as well. Um, they could be a Taurus. And I thought this person could also be, they could be anything from an actor to a doctor, to a dentist, a dancer, 
ballerina dancer. They could be, um, what else? Fitness instructor. Yeah, something to do with the body. They like working with the body a lot. And this person also is very confident. They could have Leo rising. Sag, Leo or Aries rising, okay? Okay, so let's see what else. You both may even have mutual friends in common as well. And this person, you may even know on Facebook or like Instagram or something, if you're on social media. Like you may have seen this person online, but never really thought, oh, like that's, you know, I'm gonna to talk to this person. It's kind of that sort of connection where you kind of know of this person, but you don't know them like really, really personally. Okay, so we're gonna have a look at your relationship and we're gonna see what you're gonna experience. I see a marriage as well for this group. You guys aren't super bothered with marriage, like you want to, but you're not like super, super bothered. Um, it feels like you're kind of nervous about marriage. Maybe you've seen a lot of marriages break up, um, which isn't a bad thing. You know, if, at the end of the day, if that marriage does break up, it's just a way of, you know, um, learning because it's not that you've done anything wrong if it breaks up. It just means that that's the part of the process. Okay, so let's see what's gonna go on in your relationship. So we've got the card of chaos, gonna bring you down, down a little bit more. Okay, so the card of chaos, this is just showing me that you guys are very much in your head. You are definitely scared of intimacy. You're scared of things repeating themselves. Um, don't be afraid of that, you're gonna be fine. You just gotta communicate a lot, okay? And communication is a massive act of self-love because you may not have, you may have come from a family that doesn't like to communicate. You may be scared of communication. Um, so that's definitely something you're both um, working on is becoming more open to communication and yeah just being more open to expressing yourself to each other I'm just going to bring this line up a little bit and yeah there's a lot of self-love going on there's a sense of like literally showing who you really are I think part of you is very scared of like taking up space that was kind of what I was getting at earlier if like you're scared of your person like you're scared of having opinions because maybe the people you've been with before haven't liked you to have opinions um but don't be scared of that. These people were basically projecting their fears onto you. So that's, you know, it's not gonna be bad. It's gonna be really beautiful actually. Okay, let's have a look and see if there's anything else about the relationship. Let's see what you're gonna experience. So this is you. And this is them. So what I see is you're gonna have a really good influence on this person. You're gonna kind of liberate them to not be fearful. You have a very fiery energy. You have possibly a fire sun. It could be a Sag, Aries or Leo sun sign. But this person is um, Aries, Leo, Sag rising. Okay, so you're both very, very similar, but also different. And I also see that a lot of you guys, I'm seeing this really strange message, but I'm seeing like you could experience a couple of weddings or a couple of funerals before meeting this person. What this is saying to you is that you're going through, you're seeing other people transform and then you're gonna transform. So sometimes we witness stuff um, in people's lives because we're gonna go through it very soon. So say if we see a lot of people be being pregnant, maybe you're trying for a baby or you want to have a baby or something like that. Um, I also see children in your future with this as well, but we'll go into that in the extended if that's something that wants to pop up a little bit more. Um, but this person's very artistic. You both are very similar. That's why you're, that's why you're together, because we've got 23 and we've got 27. That could be both your ages. And I feel like, yeah, I don't see you guys being single for too much longer. I just feel a lot of you guys are really, really working on um, just literally taking up space. So it's gonna happen in your, Basically, you're, you're the key to the things you want in your life. So if you're the sort of person that people pleases, you're gonna people please in every aspect of your life, not just your relationships. But if you're confident and you're comfortable in your energy and you want to um, kind of take up more space, you're gonna get more opportunities because you feel like you're worthy and you feel safe enough to be around new people. I think the main thing for you is literally letting your guard down. And I think that's something you're really gonna learn with this person. And the intimacy is gonna be really raw. <laughs> like really really raw very intense very rough so that'd be cool to, to look at in the extended okie dokie so we'll get a couple more cards and we'll see what else so let's see what else is for group this is the divine directions by the way divine directions cards group number three what else do they need to know lovely so for you guys you definitely struggle with abundance you struggle with um realizing that you actually can 
get the things that you want it's just it's there's been a lot of fear around well what if i'm not worthy what if i don't get that job what if well, this what if that and that will keep you in fear and the reason why this comes up is because of the upbringing and you're going to be healing that so you may have been with people that are either very too masculine or too feminine and this causes you to be out of balance so say if you're a woman you keep meeting men that are too much in their feminine and they're not assertive enough they're not the sort of people to take charge and if you're a man and you're wanting say a female or a feminine you're meeting people that are too um kind of like absent from their emotions like they really aren't there so i feel for you guys you're learning right now to just cut people out of your life that are draining you and really yeah firm that's basically what it is it's just getting concrete about everything that you want um and not being afraid to be like no that's not good for me because it's not it's going to be something that's going to take its place so you're not going to miss out yep focus so if you're worried about being single you're not going to be single for too much longer if you are single for a while that's okay like there's not gonna you're not gonna miss out on anything trust me um i am seeing a lot of travel with like cars and trains and things like that so if you'd like to try traveling or you know your sort of person doesn't like traveling but you'd like to give it a go definitely give it a go because i see that you'd like to try out different opportunities but they might be a bit further away go for it like just try it because obviously okay i'm getting mainly don't do it in mercury retrograde but once mercury retrograde is done give it a go because i feel like there's this need for you to just sh share your energy around because there's people who want to meet you you're just not in that that correct place for travel um your person could also be from a different country i do see overseas travel um your person's definitely in the country you're in but their family could be from a different country okay so that is your reading have a great day and the last thing i'm seeing is your person is very opening they're very open and very welcoming opening they're very open and they're very welcoming um this person comes from quite a diverse background they've got loads of different backgrounds in their family tree and um this has kind of helped them to be very open to new cultures and things like that and you both i feel like have pretty much the same skin color but your both backgrounds are very different um you could have mixed uh family like mixed parents as well from different countries but yeah i feel like um for you guys you both have dealt with very similar things you may have dealt with anything from like racism to abuse to like just really intense family stuff and you both relate and that's what basically brings you together you're meant to meet each other at that at that time because it will be so supportive for you to help you grow into this new version of yourself so as you're reading have a great day and the extended is down below and i'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number four let's get started with your reading so let's see what you guys have got going on in your love life and let's see what we have so oh okay so moonstone let's go so moonstone is all about new beginnings so you guys would have chosen this group because you're ready for a new partnership you're ready to experience a relationship with somebody who is completely brand new sorry I just burped completely brand new and I do feel like a lot of you guys are going through major changes number four it also means uh, stability it's to do with the home it's to do with buildings and things being structurally sound so that's kind of what you're focused on and I think a lot of you guys who've chosen this group are going to be in a very long-term relationship so it's going to last through marriage through babies um, or fur babies if you prefer animals um, than children obviously not everyone can have children so for this group this is really good for insomnia and kind of dealing with a lot of stress and kind of pre it prevents overreactions stabilizes emotions and it really helps with the digestive system it also assists in pms conception pregnancy and birth i love moonstone i wear moonstone pretty much every day i used to sell it on my shop as well and i will be putting probably putting it back up again when my shop is ready to be opened again but with moonstone um i love it it's just really good for me especially as a cancer moon i love it um it's really good at helping you with your emotions it's really good at helping you to deal with emotional change grief it's really good for hormones and i also see a little squirrel outside so that is your animal omen squirrels are really good at being very agile and they like to um they're very structure they are about the structure like they're all about like kind of running back to their home and they're very nimble so that's kind of your energy right now you're kind of just 
going with the flow as much as possible in your life and I do feel like your person who you're going to meet is going to really appreciate you for who you are like you won't have to change you won't have to be any different like your person's going to be really really amazing and they're going to be a leader I feel as well your person's someone who leads and you're not going to have to do everything which is really nice okay so the fact that we have new beginnings as well with moonstone and moonstone rules the emotions is i do feel the person that you're going to meet is going to be somebody who is very accepting of your emotions there's somebody who's very supportive as well which is really good so let's see what you've got going forward in your love life. <laughs> the moon <laughs> oh my god that's amazing so you have the moon this is all the stuff you're going through at the moment and what you what you can expect in your love life so at this moment this is the current moment right here this is just grief and dealing with a lot of heavy stuff um really looking at your past and thinking hmm like do i want to keep this person in my life do i want to keep this item in my life do i want to stay in this home do i want to stay in this job like you're looking at the past thinking i just want to hold on to it but you are being pushed into a new cycle when you really cannot um change it and then in the future going forward you have so much goodness to look look forward to you've got so much more openness there's a lot more light there's a lot more um lighter more comfortable squishier energy like it's not harsh and jagged and horrible and abusive like it's not like that that's what i'm seeing is that you, you don't have to hold on to the past anymore like you're not going to miss anything like it's kind of like if you want to you don't know if you can let go of a certain item and i'm the sort of person who's very nostalgic um and i love memories and i get very emotionally attached but since like clearing out pretty much most of my stuff um it's been a lot like I've had to change a lot of my life because of me moving away and it's been a lot and it's been really heavy but what I see is you you see people for who they truly are now and you're not going to be messed around it is going to be much more you are going to feel much more successful and I feel like within the next six months your priorities are going to shift and I see the next person you're going to be with is somebody who really loves you for who you are someone who is grounded and fiery and is a leader somebody who <laughs> it sounds really bad to say but puts you in your place that sounds really bad but i don't mean it literally like that i mean it to be like if you are being in your patterns they'll pull you up um if you know you're ill they'll help you get better they're not the sort of person to avoid you if you're ill or you know if you're crying they don't just leave you on your own like this person is extremely supportive and is fully there for you so i also feel this person is very unconditional and you haven't really had a lot of unconditional love these two cups are is what's being given to you here so this is what you feel you're not going to be able to get or maybe you don't feel like you deserve it but you're actually getting it so you kind of don't really have a choice um so basically you have kind of just focused on lack a lot you've had a lot of family members who are very scared of you know the future and they kind of make you feel like you can't have a creative job because you know maybe it's not enough money or something like that or you can't have a relationship because you know maybe they the person you're going to meet has different religious beliefs than what your family like or basically you you're needing to come away from family even if they're you know amazing they probably have some toxic traits in there and I do see you kind of moving away from your family like literally moving country or anything like that um and it's a big step it's really really big because you feel like you have to stick around for these people but you don't have to like you are allowed to have your own life you're allowed to have your own choices and the person you meet is because of you making those new choices and because of you um stepping into your power and doing something new so i do feel like you're going to pick up a new like belief system or hobby or something like that like you're probably going to get more in touch with the universe or with god or whoever you look up to whether a uh, deity or um entity you know those sort of things i just generally feel like you guys are going through a major shift in mindset you might be going through your saturn return in the next couple of years which most likely you'd be around 60 years old uh 59 60 uh or you could be about 27 to 30 okay so you could be any of those ages so basically you're being you're, you're just coming away from what you normally know and it's scary but it's okay it's okay it's just new all right you just gotta figure it out it's okay to just try new things like you're not you don't have to know everything that's the whole point like if you've been kind of forced to be perfect and have all these things perfectly aligned like no that's not a normal way of believing and if you've kind of been brought up to feel like that then you're coming away from that now 
Okay, so we have Scorpio, fourth house, Cancer. So you are definitely feel like you're transforming within your home, you're moving house, you are moving away from toxic people, you're moving away from toxic environments, toxic workplaces, and your emotions are much more in the forefront now, which is very, very good, because I see you being more emotionally aware to meet your person. I do see you meeting somebody within about, I don't wanna say six months. I feel like October could be really good for you and September. But also, I don't see you meeting somebody within no more than a year, I don't feel. It could be less than that, because honestly, I'm picking up like six months and a year. Um, but they're mainly showing me like the months, so like October, September, and I'm also getting Aladdin. Oh, that's really random. But I see Aladdin and like you going into that, the cave of wonders. Like you don't know what to expect, but you're really excited about it. That's definitely the feeling of going into this new relationship. But I see around autumn time, you can meet your person. I really do feel that for you guys. Um, okay, so I feel like you could definitely meet them when you move house though, definitely. So if you're thinking of moving house, yes, 100%, I do see that. Okay, so let's have a look and see how else could you meet them. Let's get some new dice. I just wanna like mix it up a little bit. Okay. So we have Aquarius, Moon, and the third house. We've got the Moon again, so there's definitely an emphasis on emotions. Um, the third house is majorly about communication. And sometimes I feel like the third house is ruled by Aquarius. It's ruled by Gemini actually, but it's definitely to do with Aquarius because Aquarius tend to have a lot of throat issues and obviously communication is to do with the throat. Um, so for a lot of you guys, I feel like you are going to meet this person definitely in a group. Like Aquarius is always, to me, represents groups and friends and new interests. I see you picking up a new interest or hobby or belief system and then going from there, meeting people through that and then your person is on the other side of that. One thing you're definitely learning is to become more emotionally available to people so you're not kind of closed off as much as you usually have been um, and you're coming away from family patterns so no longer is anybody kind of ruling over you or telling you what to do, like you are in your own zone and you're just being yourself which is really, really nice and your person's very interesting, like they are somebody who can't sit still, like there's somebody who's got a lot of energy, they've probably got Gemini in their chart, um, there's somebody who is very airy, very fiery, very very much a leader, like there's somebody who is a doer, they, they do a lot. Okay, let's have a look and see the environment of you meeting, what's it going to be like? Wow, so it's going to be really magnetic. Um, you may even kiss on your first date, on the first time meeting them, Obviously, you're going to be around this person for quite a while before you can be kissing. You can't just go up to them and kiss them. Um, you could be moving to the south of a country or South America. You could meet them in South America. You can meet them near a jungle. Uh, but this person is just, I'm hearing fruity. This person's fruity. Like they are, they have a lot of, uh, like to me, words can mean different to other people, like but intuitively. What I'm getting is it's like they're very colourful, like the sort of person who loves trying new things, they love travelling, they're very touchy-feely, um, they're somebody who loves physical touch. And the first time you meet, they're going to feel like they hit the jackpot because they know that you're, they're going to have a relationship with you. This person is very tall, I'm seeing all different skin types, I'm seeing pretty much any skin type, any skin colour, any hair colour. I'm not really seeing ginger though, that's the only colour I'm not seeing. Um, yeah, pretty much. I'm seeing more darker colours, like darker blonde, black, brown, um, yeah, hair like that. I'm seeing quite large hair, so like afro. This person to me looks literally, I don't know the exact hair colour, but I am specifically seeing a few different people. I'm seeing a blonde female who's got like quite dark blonde hair. I'm seeing a male who has dark skin and has black afro hair. I'm seeing a woman who's dark skin, black afro hair. I'm seeing a woman who has brown braided hair and I'm seeing like Russian, Africa, South America, Guatemala. So random, but that's where I'm getting. Those are the sort of places that this person could be from. Um, I'm seeing New Zealand as well. Okay, so that's what I see how you're gonna meet them. Like, it's gonna be very, very easy. And I, I'm gonna pretty much say you're gonna be in a, in a relationship like that. It's gonna be so quick. Your relationship, very very fun it's going to be you're going to be learning how to like have more fun and not take life so seriously you might be the sort of person who always looks after everyone and you're not doing that with this person this person is very independent they don't always want your help which is good like they can literally deal with themselves but they love being around you they love cuddling you kissing you they love being physical with you sexual stuff isn't really on their mind a lot of the time but they love being like physical with you um, they're the sort of person who, if they have something on their mind, they'll tell you. They are very upfront, they're not jealous, they're very easygoing, they're really mature. 
um, they love writing, poetry, songwriting, stuff like that. Like they're very visual and they love writing, they love words. Like words is very strong with this person. So I'm picking up this person could be an Aries, a Gemini, Aquarius, or mm, Sag. I'm also picking up on Libra. There's a lot of air and fire in this person. Tell me more about this person. Because they definitely love their, they do something with their hands. They could be a musician. Okay, this person, like, this person's had a lot of dealings with toxic people, like, a lot of people who have been very jealous, and a lot of people with, I'm going to say mental health issues, mental health issues isn't a bad thing, I'm just picking up, like, this, pe this person's been with people who have had major mental health issues and just haven't done anything about it, and it's caused them a lot of pain and I don't mean people who have like anxiety and they feel really bad and you know they're very gentle people like no I'm not talking about people like that I'm talking about people who are destructive and aggressive and jealous that's exactly the word I was getting jealous and it feels like a roller coaster like that's the type of people he's been around who he or she has been around and this person um is really basically coming out of this kind of matrix of um, feeling like they can't manifest a relationship that's very sustaining and makes them feel good. They've been around a lot of relationships that have made them feel very low and have caused them a lot of pain and have made them feel very insecure and uncomfortable and they don't want to feel like that anymore. They want to feel good and they've had a lot of people who are very unsupportive of them. So they're definitely going to be quite shy. Um, they're very, they're very when they, once they get to know you though, they're going to love you. Um, but they are very scared. Like they are somebody who loves a lot they love hard they don't love just like with part of their heart they love fully um that's that fire part of them they're like fully in and this person um probably travels quite a lot for work if they don't travel a lot for work they want to they're going to they're very determined to travel they don't want to stay in one place and um, they're also very body conscious they like to be fit they like to be um at least just looking after their body. They don't have to be like fully fit and have a six pack or anything like that. But they are somebody who is fitness conscious. Like they don't want to be uncomfortable in their body to the point where they're suffering, you know. And they are very hard on themselves. They're quite a big perfectionist, but they're somebody who is a great person to be around. They've got a lot of friends. They um, are very psychic as well. They just love music. This person's a musician through and through. Um, and we have Libra as well. There's a lot of like mutable and cardinal signs in this group. But yeah, this person's very in touch with their feminine side, um, which is really good. Even if they're, if they're a male, being in touch with their feminine side means that they just, they can listen to you and they can be very open hearted and with, with if it's a woman and they're in touch with their feminine side even better because it means that this person can be a nurturer, they can be very patient and things like that, basically. Um, I feel like you're going to learn a lot from this relationship and I also see that you're going to be married. If you don't want to be married, it's not a big deal. This relationship isn't, this, sorry, this group isn't fully, fully aimed at marriage because I feel like a lot of you guys are just kind of like, meh, not too bothered. It'll be an add-on, so that's great. I do see children, but for you guys, I just feel like your relationship is going to be quite different than a lot of people. They don't think you have to have children or, you know, be married to solidify it. I think that's, you know, I think it's more about learning for you guys in the first few years is learning to really be in a relationship. A lot of you guys have struggled to be really vulnerable in relationships. You've kind of been taught that independence is key and like be, be on your own and don't let anyone love you. And it's like, that is totally against human nature. Like human nature is we work together. It's just been indoctrinated into us as a society to be on our own because we live in boxes, we watch a box, we drive in a box, we die in a box. Like we're literally pushed to be on our own because that creates more separation. And I could rant about this for ages because you guys know what I'm like. I will do not sugarcoat things. But I genuinely feel like if it will take a little bit of time in the future, but you will be married if that's something you would like. And I'm seeing your mum would be very happy for you to get married. Like I'm seeing this woman sitting in the crowd and it's so cute. And she's like got her like tissues and she's crying about you two at the top of the, like like the, the altar. Is it the altar? Where you both like get married and you're both like kissing each other and saying your vows. And she's like crying in the corner. It's so cute. Like there's definitely this deep connection to you and your mother, I feel. Even if you don't have a good relationship with her, there's de she, I definitely think she'll be really proud of you. Either way. Yeah, I really feel there's a lot of communication. You may be um, having a th few throat issues before meeting this person. You may have coughing a lot. You may yawn a lot. 
Uh, there may be some thyroid stuff going on, so just be very careful, but I'm not a doctor, you know, so just take this as it resonates. This is for entertainment purposes only. Um, but I feel like it will take a while for you to decide if you want to be with this person, and I think you'll just it's just going to be a slow process. This person isn't in, in any hurry to be in a relationship with you, but I genuinely feel like you're going to meet someone, and it's not going to be too far away. Um, I feel like for you guys, right now you're prioritizing stability and looking after yourself and realizing like you don't have to put yourself fully fully out there to meet someone like they'll meet you halfway like that's kind of a myth that's what they're telling me intuitively they're saying it's a myth to have to push and force and tug even if it's hard being a human like it's even harder to push and force things like you i'm hearing you all know because you most likely have experienced that in relationships and i think when it comes to relationships you're going to experience such a a healing journey i see within about three to five years you could get married um i think this relationship is going to be a slow relationship at the start but that's what they want for you like your your inner child and your spirit guides they want that for you because your inner child's gone through quite a lot of like fear around getting close to people so it's going to suit you perfectly and my love make it about you you know you don't have to do things always for other people this is for you this is your time and if this person is taking from you don't be with them <laughs> just don't be with them um so that is your reading i really hope you enjoyed it the extended is down below if you'd like some intimate messages and yeah if 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 this is the last time i see you for today's reading then thank you so much for being here my private reading rates are down below and i'll speak to you very very soon bye